Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got some great information about NBA 2K23 that I've already told you before because I told y'all that I've talked to several people that played the real game. Just now we got some confirmations, man. Y'all make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post on it. And let me know down below if you want shooting to be harder in 2K23 or easier, man. So firstly, okay, this is a in the league, okay? One of the best lockdowns in the game. I commented under Baluba's post and I was like, make screens cost adrenaline boost, please. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that down below. He says, I like the way you think. He's a lockdown, right? A lot of y'all think I'm some left riding PG. Dude, I play all positions. I want defense to be overpowered, amazing to be better than the offense. I, I always say this, but I don't I don't I don't know what's up with y'all. <laughs> but I think it would be real dope to it would stop left riders from abusing screens, right? Cuz people abuse screens so bad that then you have to two up them and then they get a free bucket down low. Like that's how broken it be, you know, the abuse of the screen. People should use screens way more tactical. I know it's not realistic for people to lose any type of stamina like setting a screen, but it's not realistic when someone does a few dribble moves and almost all their stamina is gone. A grown man athlete on steroids, <laughs> .00 gifted human being, lose all his stamina in a few, that's not real. So if you're gonna do that, apply it to everything. You know, that that's how I feel. Anywho, this guy tweets out at Michelle Wang, he says, Please make it to where you have to green a shot for it to go in. Please, that's all I ask, okay? First off, if they were to ever do that, all they would do is make whites turn into green more. So, I mean, you guys have to be better with what you like ask. Say like you want the difficulty of shooting to be harder and not as many shots to drop because it's too easy to shoot type shit. Y'all go with this lingo. It's kind of hard to understand, but um, for like bot people. It could be perceived in so many different ways. But young Michelle Wang says, Slightly's don't drop in NBA 2K23 like they did last year. At least not on higher difficulties and online. You have to earn your makes. And I've been telling y'all this for weeks because I told you, <laughs> I've been telling y'all all about this game before it came out. They told me that the shooting is like 2K21 current gen quick stopping is patched there will be no quick stopping even if someone finds new methods y'all don't realize that they've never wanted us to quick stop do y'all know that i don't think y'all know that they've never wanted us to quick stop they just never patched it why do you think every time we like there's a new 2k there's always a new way to quick stop because they tried to patch it when they released the game bro they don't want that in the game but now, for some reason, they're going to make sure in 23, this is what I'm being told, that they are going to patch the quick stop no matter what. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And they say they're going to make it like 2K21 current gen for the shooting. Now, the shooting 2K1 current gen was phenomenal. But throughout the year, they kind of made it easier without telling people, right? That's why people started to hit more with all these different builds and stuff. Um, here's my whole thing with the 2K21 current gen shooting. It was just, if you had a high three, you still hit like butter. Like it was, it was super easy to shoot, but you needed a play shot to shoot super easy. They need to make it hard on everyone. And yeah, you shouldn't even be able to, to dribble like that and, and be able to have a 90 plus three. Everything needs to be lowered. The badges, all that. Or superstar builds for everybody, man. But we already know the build system is gonna be like 2K22 next gen, but more nerfs. So hey, and it's bro, it's real surprising to me that 2K is gonna go this route because they've never received all the positive feedback they did with 2K22 in the beginning. And that was only because shooting was easy. In 2K21, everyone was crying and complaining, and it was a lot of like bashing. But hey, hopefully they stick with it, man. It's better for the game. So young Michelle Wang says, current gen has double take, but design is different from new. I wonder what that means, like the looks of it. He says, it's still archetype based, 
and not broken up into abilities. Kind of confusing. But now we get the double take. I'm assuming like um, 2K19 type shit. I don't like double takeover, bro. It's way too OP. Okay, so Mike Wayne tweeted something out and then he deleted it. It had to do with openness in the game. Most people don't know about openness. I'm going to break it down for you. There is a slider on the game to where you could put it to directional. This has to do with your passing. Directional and all this different type. I think it's like three different things. I don't remember it all, but I think there's there's directional openness for sure. If you do 99 openness, a lot of program guys do this. Um, you don't even have to think anymore. You could just drive and then just pass it and it'll always throw it to the open man. It makes people a lot better than they think they are, especially on fives. He's saying he's 99% sure it's out for online, but he hasn't tested it to verify. Um, yeah, this is a W for sure. This is three W's. Well, not three W's. I don't, I don't like the double takeover. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. It basically means people are going to have to use more icons and that that creates a skill gap and an IQ gap, man. People been bailed out for years just abusing that openness shit. So Double H tweeted out, can't wait for the first day slash week of NBA 2K23 where a lot of people complain about the gameplay when they're an 85 overall. Facts. With no badges, no hot zones, and no experiences. And then 2K gonna drop a patch because y'all complain so much. Literally happens every year, okay? Look, what he's saying is true and wrong at the same time. We have to get, I know, I know niggas like to go at the community, but it's the devs, bro. Think about this. Listen, for, for, first, first, let's talk about what he's right about, okay? Most of you fucking, no, I gotta stop saying you. Most of these bum ass niggas on this hoe. They be bitching about the game. They play or not max. They have no badges. They have no hot zones. Right when the game starts, they start begging for patches and shit. They don't know the best jumper. They don't know the best animations, etc. Right? And they not really a vet in this shit. So they not like me to where I could play it for five minutes and just tell everything about it. Right? They're just a NPC, nigga. Then they start crying about shit and... You know, then they start like fucking this, like fuck making the game easier, right? But on the other hand, a game should have a bunch of patches, always. It, it, it don't matter. We shouldn't be saying, stop patching because they're gonna break something else and not be able to, it shouldn't be like, they should be able to patch something without something else being broken, period. We have to always push for the patches, bro. Seriously, we have to push for the patches and just roast them when they break something else. It's the only way for change. We can't be so scared. <laughs> we can't be so scared that we're like, yo, no, don't patch it. Something else is gonna break. It's gonna break. Oh, we told you not to patch it because now this is broken. I Bro. It's like what multiverse, they're, they're patching stuff and something else is breaking, but they they, they do that. They, they fix shit. 2K so pathetic they didn't figure out how to fix pushing nine months later my nigga i've been dunking and falling on the ground for fucking like fucking 10 like 50 like seven seconds bro and it's still not fixed like their whole engine is trash the only way they'll ever fix this shit in the future is if niggas go at them bro it's the only way all that nice talking bullshit they only respond to real pressure nigga you know constant on all the 2k's tweets on all the devs tweets that's the only thing they respond to bro we should be able to buff paint defense without worrying about missing open dunks or open layups when a nigga's behind us not even contesting right we should be able to get little intricate fixes but we can't because the engine we're playing on, nigga, and they're too lazy to change it, you know, or get better or, or do something else, my nigga. If niggas is sliding on defense, defense should be able to be improved, but they can't improve it. You want to know why? 
because their dev team is ass. They don't have enough devs. They don't have enough control. Their system is like broke, nigga. They're just building upon something. They need something else. I'm trying to tell you. It's the only way. Y'all niggas have the voice. Y'all niggas have the power. I'm telling you, YouTube, comment sections, Twitter, find every single dev. Tell them about that game. If you're a bot, like, stop. But if you're good, you know, do it every now and then when you get time type shit. But it's the only way, bro. Everyone should always push for patches of things that actually need to be patched. You should never say shooting needs to be easier. It, that should never happen, okay? Um, shit like that. Like, like be, be cautious. My ideas are great, okay? Um, yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.